fit for our children's talk. At this point in the service, any kids who want to come forward and join me up here, we're going to be making bubbles today. I'm so excited. Just going to shift this over a tiny bit. Bring over our bubble making kit. All right. Hello, Isabel. I'm so glad you're here. Okay. Get a little bit of coverage here. There we are. Okay. So need here. There's our bucket. First thing we need, six cups of water. What do you think, Isabel? Can you pour that into the bucket? Do you want to try that? Got it there. Good job. Oh, keep pouring. All the way. Nicely done. So we've got our water. I learned an interesting thing about water. Water is polar, which means it has positive and negative molecules. And that means that they're like magnets. They move around and they chase each other and they want to stick to each other. So that's how we get surface tension on water. But as you can see, if we were to put our bubble wand in the water right now and pull it out, no bubbles. So we need something else. What do you think here? I think some dish soap. That's a pretty good idea. So I wonder, could you squeeze this in, do you think? Yeah. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. We need a whole cup. Oh, need to unplug it. Ooh, now it's really coming. <laughs> That's all good. <laughs> Keep going. We're about a third of the way there. Almost there. That's it. One cup. Thank you. <laughs> That's all right. What do you say, Isabel? Can you pour that one in for me? OK. Four, 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 four. Nicely done. Thank you. Yes. There we are. It's like a bounty commercial. <laughs> well done. Thanks, Isabel. Okay. So, you could stir that a little bit. Mix it up together. Nicely done. Our last ingredient is our glycerin. Scientists in the crowd know what this is all about. It's about one tablespoon. Dump that one in. Can I do one more? Sure. In it goes. Glycerin. So we've got dish soap, water, and glycerin. Now, here's what we hope is going to happen. So, when dish soap and glycerin is added to water, it increases the surface tension of the water, which means that we're able to blow these nice big bubbles because the surface tension becomes really elastic and expansive. So we're going to try it out, see what happens. So do you want to dip that one in? Try this one here. Do you get a bubble? Let's see. Just about. Try again. I can see it. Yeah, they're coming. <laughs> we are willing them to come. By faith, there will be bubbles. Yeah, well done. I made this really big one. What do you think? Any luck? Should we try it? Okay. 
Whoa, can you see that? Can you see that? Big bubble? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Ooh. So close. Okay, one more try here. Woo! All right, we can keep playing with those. I think maybe outside after maybe. after church today. <laughs> we all yeah, we all want to have a chance, don't we? So the reason we're playing with bubbles today is because we have a baptism, and in baptism we know that the the primary image, the primary symbol, is water. So maybe one way that we can think about baptism is God adding a little bit of dish soap to our water in our lives, helping us to expand our minds and our hearts and our lives. So I thought maybe we can go out into the world and be God's bubbles. How about it? Amen. Thank you so much.